These young people are more than athletes. They're students of the game. We learn how to control the ball and use the power, like reducing your power and making the ball shorter and adding more power so the ball can go farther. If you're talking tennis, this is just a boundary, but the coaches here try to teach the science behind being in or out, how things like force and the angle of the racket impacts where the ball goes. It's one thing to be able to say that, but it's another for them to be able to be on the court and feeling it with the racket and the ball, and I think that made a difference. In partnership with the U.S. Tennis Association, camp organizer Teach, Grow, Achieve emphasizes science, math, and engineering, important academic areas part of the STEAM curriculum. 11-year-old Asher Amar has played with his dad before, but this is the first time he's understood the forces that influence where the ball goes. Top spin just puts more spin on the ball so it doesn't go out. It just curves back in. And backspin does the same thing just on backhand. We also talk about the makeup of, of the racket. It's not always going to hit it off the center of the, of the racket and how it's going to affect the ball. Coach Kevin Rooney says students who enroll in a school year program get a workbook that further explains the physics behind the game. I think they get to actually try it and see it um, as opposed to, you know, again, sitting in a classroom learning and watching a screen or listening to a, to a teacher just talk about it. Much better than school. <laughs> I could do strong and soft and I could fool my opponents easily. While serves and backhands may still need work, these aspiring pros have got the science behind the game down pat. In Harrington Park, New Jersey, Clark Foraker, CBS 2 News.